Okay, okay, okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is my third try to record this. I'm very unhappy. It's now 11.45 p.m. Tuesday night. But the first time, I'm, I'm having some technical problems with my office computer. In the past, I did almost all my recordings from home, and I have lots more tools there, and I know how everything works there. But tonight I'm in my office, and the office computer has been to the service center since the last time I did recordings. And it's not working very well tonight. So I have made two different videos, each 70 plus minutes. And the audio was horrible. So this is try number three. Start the clock. This is a recording for the class scheduled for March 31st, 2021. The class is Globalization and Public Administration, Segehawa Hengjung, for the Susungu Chung Graduate School course. And the name of today's lesson is Globalization, Japan, China, and India. Now today I've got a few PowerPoints to help us look at the material from two readings. But before we do that, let's review the previous class. We were in the classroom and we talked about globalization and kind of Korea situation. One of the items we talked about was the fact that Korea's diet has been evolving. Maybe we could say globalizing. That the traditional main food we call staple, the food that is the main thing to eat, has changed and nowadays people are probably eating more bread than rice. Bread is essentially Western. Uh, in the north of Korea, They're, they ate some things a little bit more like bread. There's something kind of like bread in Korea traditionally, but basically Western bread has become the staple. And so perhaps that's globalization. Or perhaps it's other factors. I'm not sure. We also talked about the idea that Korean terminology, the words used to talk about things like globalization, has changed. We looked at three words. Gukjehwa, Segehwa, and Globalhwa. Globalhwa, Globalhwa, two spellings. And we looked at uh, newspaper records that showed that as far back as the records go, around 1920, Gukjehwa and Segehwa have been in use. Whereas Globalhwa is a much, much newer word, a newer creation that really became popular through Kim Young Sam. Uh, who raised this idea that Korea should be more globalized, whatever that meant. We talked about how Guk Jehwa translates rather well into internationalization with that key word nation, Guk. A focus on borders, a focus on boundaries, a focus on we are we and you are you. Whereas the concept of globalization, which is maybe Segehwa, I guess, uh, 
it translates well, is the idea that we're all one world and boundaries, national boundaries or other boundaries are much less important. So anyway, uh, Kim Young Sam was using the word global hua, but when he went to the world and talked about globalization, the world said, ah, yeah, globalization, we know that, and that means this and this and this and this. That means we can sell everything in Korea, you know, pull down your walls, let us bring in all our foreign products, let us go in and do business. And Kim Young Sam said, oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 we mean Korean-style globalization. And so they changed back to the word segehua because it didn't sound like globalization, and they could talk about Korean-style globalization rather than this global-style globalization. So tonight we have two readings. And these readings offer us a kind of alternate perspective, a different way of looking at globalization compared to the things we read earlier. What we read earlier was started off with kind of some international introduction to the idea of globalization. And then we talked a little bit about Korea's past experience. So tonight we're going to talk about Japan Japan's Reluctant Globalization is a book review. I've given you uh, a book review of a book about Japan. And the second one, Globalization and Decentralization, Lessons in Good Governance from China and India. This is basically a draft paper that a professor from University of Virginia put up on the internet for feedback to share with students and other people. Um, not a final paper, but I went ahead and grabbed it and I've taken some pieces out of it for our reading, discussion, and thinking about it. Okay. Now, um, so before I start this next piece, because of my bad experience so far, I'm going to go ahead and stop and save this and make sure it works. So there's three videos tonight. But that's better than one monster long video. It also gives you the opportunity to take a break between videos. All right. So I'm going to take a quick stop here, Control F10, before we move on.